Hey guys, um, I need some help with this laptop my um, girlfriend gave, well, not gave me, but gave me to fix. Um, before I turn it on, because it's quite a pain to turn it off and then back on after problems occurred, um, I've literally, to try and solve this problem, I've tried going onto the BIOS, that hasn't worked. I've tried taking out the hard disk, checking if it's all um, connected, that didn't work. The RAM, I've tried taking it out and putting it into a different slot, um, that didn't work. I've tried taking a wireless card out, that didn't work. I've um, opened up this whole entire laptop, in fact, and I've, um, uh, I've turned off the CMOS, or whatever, however you would say it, battery. And well, short circuited it, and then turn it back on. That didn't work. I've pretty, I've put a Windows 7 the recovery disk in there. Doesn't work. I've put the Ubuntu disk in there, boot disk to see if I could get onto that. Didn't work. I put the hard disk manufacturer Hitachi, uh, Hitachi. I don't know. I forgot what it was now. But I have put that in the hard disk uh, manufacturer. I've put an uh, I burnt an ISO image onto the disk and hoped that that would boot up and repair the cause, but that didn't work. Um, I've also tried, I don't know, I forgot if I said this now, but I've tried getting onto BIOS and when I press the F2 or F12 it doesn't work. Um, and yes, for me to upload this video I am using my other lap, my laptop. Right. Um, so what happens is, I turn it on. And it all loads up. This takes up about five seconds, and then it loads into the next part, which should be loading the whole like Windows interface up operating system after this. But then it comes up with this: PXE61 and PXE-M0F media test failure check cable XTIN PXE ROM. I've checked every cable, and every cable's plugged in. It just repeats this message all the time. It's really annoying, I don't know what to do, I've literally done everything I thought I could do and it's got no hope. Um, if you don't have got any ideas, um, the USBs, it, like boot from USB, that won't work because these USB slots, they don't have the black bit on top which will make it so the USB can plug in and stay in there and receive the data. So the USBs are broken so I... I would have done that, but I've had to resort to the CD, so that's not working, which is annoying. Um, yeah, I'm going to be posting up this video because I'm going to probably recommend them to give it to the manufacturer because I thought I could possibly do something to, so they wouldn't have to pay out money, but this is basically the problem, just constantly repeating. The make is a Toshiba Satellite. It's a Toshiba Satellite L450. Um, so yeah, it's really annoying, a big problem. I've put everything back now so it all works, but just trying to get on. I know that you can change the boot up through the BIOS, but that doesn't work either. Going onto the BIOS itself, pressing the F12 or F2 button, it just doesn't work, which is a pain, because I know that you could change it so it boots it from the CD, and I thought if I put the CD on there it would boot it up before it would boot up whatever. But the hard disk is connected, everything's connected. It's just been a pain. So if you would do have any solutions, do just say because I've tried everything I can and I don't know. So yeah. Peace out guys, I'm gonna make this.